Hi guys, hope you are doing well. Today we're going to talk a little on making time for Jesus. I want each of you to be desperate for him. So stay with me. gracious and precious heavenly father i give you all honor praise and glory lord i ask that you instill in each of us that desire to be desperate for you and to turn our eyes to you only lord help us to want to make that time with you every day because lord i know that quiet time is when i hear from you best in jesus holy and precious name i pray amen not only must we seek jesus but we must also be deliberate in our approach. We need to take the time to quieten our hearts and spirits. The Holy Spirit's job is to reveal very specific things to you through the word. And that will guide you in all truth. And that's in John chapter 16 verse 13. Personal Bible study gives the spirit a chance to work God's truth inside of you. You and I always make time for what's important to us, and we let other things slide. If you can make time for other things, then you have time to spend with Jesus. You just have to decide what's more important. If we are really serious about our relationship with Jesus and his work in our lives, we must give him our full attention, as Mary and Martha did. This lifts the veil from our eyes so that we can behold the encounters that we have with him every day. Jehoshaphat was so serious in 2 Chronicles about his desire to see the Lord supernaturally come through for him and the people of Israel that he even went a step further in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verses 3 and 4. It says he proclaimed a fast for all Judah, and the people of Judah came together to seek help from the Lord. See, fear draws us to the point of total desperation. We have to be so desperate for the Lord to work in our lives that we not only turn our attention toward Him, but we also do whatever is necessary to make sure He turns His attention toward us. To fast is to deny the needs of the flesh for a greater need of the Spirit. It shows the Lord that you're serious about your request for His help and that you're willing to give up something that you desire to ensure God's hand in your situation. It's time for us to be hungry for God. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. And that's Matthew chapter 5, verse 6. I want to say right here that I am not adding works. This is not a salvation issue. You don't have to fast to be saved. But if you want more of God, I personally recommend this. Now let's get on with the lesson. Traditionally, Christians give up food, but you can also give up television, movies, books, or even chocolate for a season. The point is to give up something that you long for, to show the Lord that you do not take his involvement in your situation for granted. The Lord declares that when we proclaim a fast in our lives, then your light will break forth like the dawn. Your healing will quickly appear. Then your righteousness will go before you, and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Then you will call, and the Lord will answer. You will cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. And that's in Isaiah 58, verses 8 and 9. And I suggest starting back at 
verse 6 because it's all about fasting. The Lord takes it seriously when his children fast. If you want to encounter God like never before, then show the Lord that he is indeed more important than other priorities in your life. Please be aware, though, that Satan also knows the power of prayer and fasting. And he will do anything to deter you from doing so. He doesn't want you to be prepared to encounter the presence of God in your life. Satan knows that if you ever see the Lord in his fullness, you'll be changed and totally useless for him. When I'm afraid in life's battles, I desire that my unconscious habit will be to call out to the Lord and to allow all else to fall by the wayside as I look expectingly to God for answers. Whenever we have a Lazarus situation, we must be confident that the Lord will want to do something in our lives to demonstrate his power. We must live expectingly. Life becomes so exciting when we realize when we are on a, the cusp of an experience with God. And that's all I have for you today. I hope you're enjoying these. And as always, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Like, share, and subscribe. Join us on Discord. I do these Bible studies on Discord. Link's in the description. Uh, it's the Disciple server. And if you're not subscribed to the Disciple, I highly recommend you to subscribe to him. I think most of you come from his server, his YouTube anyway. But join us. Lots of things going on. Link's in the description. And if I don't see you in the next video, I hope to see you in heaven. Bye, guys.